to her visit. UNICEF is a global organization and uh, when I took over my duty in South Africa in 2014, I looked at the, the country and I said, where can we make a difference as UNICEF? And after consulting South Africans, it became very clear that there is one area where we can make a difference and that's on the issue of violence. I've been working with UNICEF now for about 14 years in India and last year as their national ambassador for 10 years and then um, as the Global Goodwill Ambassador now for a year and uh, Africa has been my first trip outside of India that I have gone to field on. I've had a quick whirlwind of four days in, in Africa which is including Zimbabwe and South Africa. My trip started in Zimbabwe and uh, I have to say more than anything it was extremely insightful and the biggest reason why this was such an important trip was the statistics <coughs> are staggering. If you think about violence against children, and these are children under 18, one out of three children under the age of 18 in Zimbabwe have faced some or the other form of sexual violence. And South Africa, that number is one out of five. That's an epidemic. It's not a problem. And it's our problem to solve. Physical and sexual violence that happens against children in Africa is the reason why the future looks bleak. I may not be from here, but I'm a citizen of the world and it matters to me. Every child matters to me. Every child that I've met had an ambition of being a doctor, of being a mechanic, of being an actress. I got a lot of those too. <laughs> it's just so wonderful to see these child and youth care workers who dedicate their lives and commit themselves to making South Africa and the future of South Africa and Zimbabwe a better place. We're very privileged, all of us. We get to wear great clothes, we get to drive in cars, we get to go to school, we get to choose our careers. If you are privileged, it is your social responsibility to give back to society in whatever way that is. It doesn't necessarily have to be money, but also your time, your compassion, your opening your hearts and actually seeing these children not as statistics but as real people. We are the means to an end. also visited Soweto, spending time at the Safe Parks project. Here she had an opportunity to meet children and hear their stories, and showed that she wasn't too important to join them at play. Afterwards, she shared out stick-on bindis before wrapping up her visit with singing and some impromptu moves. 